Let's talk quickly about field quality assurance. It's very important in slurry supported excavations. The slurry, after all, is holding the excavation open. In a cement bentonite wall, the slurry is going to harden to form the ultimate backfill. Where space allows, we'll create a small pond and use a high shear or flash mixer to get the bentonite into the solution. We'll then recirculate it to maintain homogeneity. When we're much more limited for space, we'll use the very same type of flash mixer to get the bentonite into solution in a series of tanks, which are also recirculated to again feed that well hydrated homogeneous product to, in this case, a CB plant. That's all fed to the trench. In back of the trench, we're constantly monitoring our progress. Here we're tagging the bottom of the trench, but we're also at the same time taking a number of samples for analysis of physical parameters. Viscosity, for example, typically by marsh funnel. With this test, we're going to filter out the oversized material and time how long it takes a known quantity to go through a very well characterized orifice. And that's going to give us the viscosity in seconds, for example, 45 seconds by marsh funnel. Another important measurement is density, here using a mud balance. So we fill the chamber on the end, get it wiped down. This equipment has all been pre-calibrated. So we'll put it on the pivot, adjust the weight, and read off the density. On some jobs, but not all, we're concerned about filtrate loss. That would be like uh, seepage through the filter cake. So we load a pressure cell with the slurry. There's a, a, a known disposable filter at the bottom of the cell. We apply gas pressure. And we take out our stopwatch and time how long it takes filtrate to come through the pressure cell. Back at the trench, on terms of the backfill, we're monitoring a variety of things, including here, slump, using a very standard slump cone. It's not just the amount of slump that's important, but also the consistency of the slump as we go across the trench. We want a very consistent wall. Back at the trailer, there's a variety of other tests, including grain size. And of course, all of these tests are supplemented by off-site testing, compressive strength, permeability, grain size, and so forth. But hopefully this has given you a general overview.